Well, welcome to the White's Warehouse. Uh, ben Bungie with the White's Company, project manager for the Iowa Event Center Hotel. And I'm Bob Anderson, the senior project superintendent for the hotel project. So today we are going to just roll through uh, an innovative solution we have to uh, the bathrooms that are going through the hotel. Um, we're actually getting these prefabricated off-site. Uh, the Iowa Event Center Hotel is a $101 million, 330-bed hotel that's a full service for Hilton. Um, currently White's is under construction with this and the prefabricated bathrooms we're going to show you today are uh, going to be showing up to the site in a couple of months and so we thought we'd uh, work through and talk to you guys about some advantages to them. When we, uh, when we started this project uh, several things we saw as challenges was, uh, was a schedule, it was a tight schedule for a large project. We were looking for innovative ways to uh, reduce the schedule uh, there's a lot of work in Des Moines right now, so uh, manpower and the workforce is uh, pretty thin, so we were looking for ways to do as much as we could off-site. So uh, we came upon the idea of prefabricating these restrooms off-site in a controlled environment uh, to reduce the uh, time frame and also reduce the number of tradesmen on-site. So uh, there's a lot of advantages we get with, the, with, with this uh, uh, cost schedule, safety-wise, uh, quality-wise, uh, all built in a uh, controlled environment in the factory. We felt we get uh, a really good quality product for the owner also. Yes, yeah, so these, are, these are quite an innovative product, um, something we haven't seen in Des Moines and uh, specifically seen in uh, the Iowa market. So uh, the essential uh, backbone of what we're doing is uh, creating a bathroom. So from the outside, you'll see it's an open cell construction, meaning uh, there isn't any drywall on the outside, there isn't any insulation on it. So from an inspector standpoint, they can actually uh, review all of the rough in conditions. But on the inside of the building, you'll actually see that uh, all the finishes are complete. So um, we've got 100% of the tile down, wall covering, paint, shower doors are installed. And when this thing shipped, it's gonna ship with all of that in it. And so we'll pick up the pod off the truck bring it into the side of the building. We uh, connect it to a pallet jack. We roll it over close to where it's at, lift off the, um, the pot off the pallet, and then uh, we roll it into place and uh, we make our connections. You know, I, and then the schedule piece of it. I mean, how many people do you think it takes to build out a bathroom? You know, bathrooms, it's, it's, it's small room, so it's always uh, one man in, one man out. So it's just a series of people going in and out and uh, when, you, when, you, when you eliminate all that and it's just set in at one time, then uh, the hours are, are numerous, the number of people goes in there. A normal bathroom just by itself going out would take probably weeks to, to build each one of them. We have 300 of them. So. And so what you have behind us, we've got a stud frame structure that's representative of um, what the structure is going to be. So the plywood deck represents the concrete uh, ceiling structure. And uh, what we've actually done is we've roughed in uh, what the overhead roughing will look like. So all the sprinkler pipe, mechanical piping, HVAC, and then um, you can see we've got uh, infills that are set. And so the basic principle about what will happen is when we are uh, building the floors, we will uh, pour the concrete, the shaft between the pods will actually get installed and uh, fire rated. An inspector will come out, they'll look at that, then we'll roll the first pot in, we'll uh, drywall and uh, make sure our fire ratings are met on the first pod. When we roll the second pot in, we'll uh, make our connections through the mirror. So there's an access panel behind the mirror in which we'll connect the water piping and um, then the two floor connections will have already been cast in the concrete and there'll be one junction box on the outside of the uh, pod in which the electrical will all connect. And so, um, Bob, maybe you can show them how the rolling device works here. And sure. Once we set it, once we set it in the room, uh, we'll connect these uh, jacks to the side of the, the stud. And uh, what it allows you to do is just to raise those up. It's light and easy that way. And then uh, you can move it around easily, put it in its final resting place and position. So three men can easily move this across and set it in place. We don't think that this is the first of its kind in Des Moines. I don't think anybody else has actually done this in Des Moines before. 
and I don't think anybody within the white companies has done this. So uh, what we would like to do is build these sample pods here at our warehouse as a, not only a learning uh, tool for our guys that are going to install them, but also for uh, approvals from the city and uh, all the, the local officials that need to look at them. So we worked out all our problems here right before we started building 300 of these. So we hope to work out all the bugs first before we actually start. Um, pr probably something else worth noting is uh, while we're doing this for a hotel, uh, we see applications for hospitals, dorm renovations, and really anything that's got uh, a consistent, uh, or anything that's got the ability to be replicated multiple times. That's really where you get the savings. Uh, the factory sets up a template and then they mass produce.